created a coin stick center. And what I did is I took Play Money and tongue depressors and hot glued them on to the tongue depressor. And most of the items I had, I did have Play Money, but I didn't have enough, but I did find the money at Target. It was very inexpensive. And tongue depressors you can find at a hobby store. And then um, pails, especially this time of the year, are pretty easy to find, pretty inexpensive. And then I just used um, puffy paint and put the numbers on the sticks as well as on the container. And the idea of it is just to give students a chance to work with coins and count coins and compare coins. And students would be either assigned individually or they would be assigned as pairs. And the, what they would do is um, I made data sheets, um, several different types. And like this one is count coin sticks, count the coins. So basically what they would do is say they, I'll use this one since I wrote, counted pail number two. They would say, okay, I counted pail number two and they would write that and then they would choose a stick and then they would count the coins. So this one has 13 cents. So then in number five, they would write 13 cents. And I didn't go over a dollar just because I didn't have very many quarters. So most of them, I think 80 cents might be the highest amount actually that I was able to, to do on these particular ones, but you could do you could do higher amounts if you had the coins for that. And then this one would be a coin comparison. So say they were gonna use you know, pail number three, then they would just put I compared pail number three. And what they would do for this activity is they would pick two sticks and then they would put, okay, this is stick number seven and this is stick number one. And then they would say, okay, I have 10, 15, 16, 17. I have 18 cents on this stick. And then I have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27 cents on this stick. And then they would put the correct sign. So 18 cents is less than 27 cents. So they would do that for, for the 12 sticks that are in each, in whatever pail they choose, there's 12 sticks. And um, some of them are equal, so they may choose two that are equal, and then they would use the equal sign. So that's another activity. And then I also did an addition and subtraction. And I wouldn't expect the students to do all of these sheets at the same time. It would just depend on what skill you were working on at the time. And like this one, they would just pick two of them. And again, what pail they worked out of and um, then they would just add up. And I did not put the stick number on here, but you could also ask them if they, to put the stick number below as well. And then I added stick number two and stick number four. So it would be 10, 20, 25, 31 cents, and then 10, 20, 30, 42 cents. And then they would add those together. And in the instructions, I did put to either supply scratch paper or whiteboards that they could work out the problems, or they could come over here and they could do 31 and 42 cents is 73 cents. So then they would put their answer over here. So and then the same with the uh, subtraction would work the same as, as that. And then I also did another sheet that was a least to greatest activity. So in this, they would, like say they were gonna use pail number two, they would group these. And I could see most kids probably grouping the colors together, but they don't have to. They just need to make two equal groups of six and six. And then they would basically, they would just take these, they would write the amounts that are on the sticks. And then on the next line, then they would order the amounts from least to greatest. And they would do that with the first set, and then they would do that with the second set. So there's several activities that could be done, and then I just thought this was a great way. Um, it's just, to me, it's an easy cleanup. There's not coins all over the place, and there's several activities. You can use, I don't like worksheets, and this way it's, it's I, I call these data sheets, and then these could be collected, and that way you could at least see kind of 
use it as a formative type of assessment and see where your students are at. And this was geared for a second grade. That seems to be the grade level that they work with coins. So that is it. I hope you enjoy my activity. Thank you.